So the lighting's not very good, right? And excuse the mess around it. I just kind of like somebody asked, like I was telling somebody the story the other night of me um, when I was coming back in the desert in the night and how I got like attacked by dogs. And she was like, oh, like, well, like, what are you using to... And I was like, oh, I had this bone shiv that I took out there just in case. And there was like this this big bastard here. Uh, I have to name all of these two once I'm finished with them. Um, that I... I also recorded some videos today, but my laptop died. I needed to edit one of them. And so I can't do that, but I'm getting my new laptop in a few days. So I just kind of wanted to let you guys know about that. Um, which is why I haven't posted that, which is why I'm posting this. Um, but I want to post those videos together. But, but anyway, so like these are the different things that I have or have used. Now, some of these I got since I've been out here the second time. Uh, well, most of these actually I got from the second time, but going from right to left, right? So over here on the right, where, where's the, oh, there it is. Over here on the right, you have goat horns. Now there's three of them currently, but I have a fourth one somewhere around here that I got the first time that I was out here. And so what I do is I turn these into karampits, um, which is a curved dagger. This one right here is my, <laughs> my bone cudgel, right? It's, uh, what did I just say? It's, I think, 20 centimeters, or no, 40 centimeters, um, which is 16 inches. Uh, it's really heavy, really durable. It's got a few cracks in it, which has me kind of concerned if I have to use it on, like, some of the wild dogs or something like that. Uh, I think it might break, which it breaks, depending on how it breaks, it might not be that bad. Now, the second one that you see right over here, that's actually two bones that I found that I had. Um, I came out to Wadi Dom like two years ago, stayed out here for a month, and so I had two bone shards. I had like two bones, and then one shard broke off, and it was like longer, and I was trying to like, trying to figure out how to like split it down the center, because it looked very much like this one right here, um, but it didn't work, and so what I did was like, I just took the two shards like forced them together and then like stuck a bunch of super glue down the center and then I use like one of my actual blades to sharpen it that way I can save my knife like I can save the sharpness in the edge of my knife um this one the one that's to the left of that is one that I got out here uh just now and so I've kind of like sharpened that into a spike now these other three in the center I got them the last two or three days excuse me and like they're field expedient which basically means i made them on the fly because i was going out there and i was like oh shit some, like i want to make sure i have some means to protect myself um and so with these three right you can obviously see that they have like points on them so they're basically sh at shivs at this point um i want to when i go back to the capital city i want to kind of like use some modern tools in order to file them down. Cause like I have, if you look up there, those are files. It, it takes forever. Um, these two right here, I sharpened on my own. Um, cause it, it wasn't as time consuming cause they were already kind of like at the proper angle. Um, but it takes a lot out of your knife because it's bone. And so I want to save my blades in order to ensure that they maintain their sharpness for when I really need them. And then these last two, I got two, three months ago. And so this one, this one right here, I want to take and split. Like I might ask like somebody if I can use their table saw like when I'm back in the city because I want to split it down the center and basically create two bone daggers like from the same bone. And so when you guys ask like, or wonder what I do, like when I'm hiking at night at times and they're like wild dogs or whatever and how I defend myself, Bam! Cacao! Like, this is, this is what death uses. And then I have, like, the stone axe head. Now, the issue with that is I haven't found, I think I said this the other day, I haven't found a proper handle. And part of me is wondering if I should just take it back with me to the States. Because my brother actually came up with a really, really good name for it. Um, and so I'm like, ah, do I want to take it back to the States and use, like, American wood and, like, Jordanian stone and, like, 
create this weapon called like so so basically he called it the heart of the mountain because i got because i got this the stone and uh, i got the stone from the mountain like right next to where i live and then man like basically used hammer stones to manufacture that to like an axe head and then i was like ah oh, dude that's dope but it's like too long to say in conversation and then i was just like okay like heart of the mountain and i was like it just came to me and i was like oh acronym h-o-t-m heart of the mountain hold them and so it kind of like even though i don't even actually think it's a word in arabic it reminds me of like kind of the same sound or the same intonation of speech that you have when it comes to arabic so i'm like ah like heart of the mountain hold them like uh a, a cross between two countries and like a, a memory of my time in both. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys and show you. I know like, man, dad, pretty soon, few months, save it up some money to see how much it is to, to get my phone fixed. Because I have to replace the screen and I, and I have to see if they have it um, and if it won't wipe my phone. And so that being the case, I like I've bought a bunch of other stuff recently too. Like I've got a new laptop coming and everything. So, Actually, coincidentally, my laptop died, like, yesterday or the day before. Like, it's not actually that the battery's dead. So it won't hold any charge for more than, like, five minutes, even keeping it plugged in. And so, yeah, it's, uh, these are, <laughs> these are the things that I use and the implements that I have to defend myself. And, I mean, I've also got, like, a few part pieces of rebar, but, yeah. Eventually, though, I'm thinking about it, eventually... I might go to the mountain and try and see if I can't make a forge in order to, because the wind is like, as you guys have heard in several videos, we're really strong here. So I'm wondering if I could try and find a way to channel that wind into a forge by creating like basically like a, like a, a tunnel for, for the wind to channel through when it's naturally blowing for the coals to heat the steel and at least make like a short blade on the end for this rebar. So, but we'll see. I mean, making a forge is a lot of work and I'm actually concerned that some of the stone traps water inside and if you make a forge out of that, it'll explode. So, just kind of giving an update and making a video in place of the other ones that I made that I can't upload currently because I have to edit them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you like the glimpse into, you know, what it is that I'm doing and what I have out here and yeah, so catch you guys later. Uh, share it if you'd like. Uh, su subscribe. I, like, I hate saying that so much. I don't know why. It's so irksome to me. Like, but yeah, you got to plug yourself, right? So like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Like, what, what should I name all of these different things? So like this, I've named Khalil's Fang. This one, I've named Khalil's Claw. The Karampit, I actually didn't name. Uh, for these, I don't know what I'm going to name them. So, and the reason I call these Khalil's Fang and Khalil's Claw has more to do with me being named Khalil Adib here. Uh, but the rest of these are probably going to be named some aspect of death or the end. So, yeah, except for that cudgel. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to name that. I just want to like I just want to call it something kind of ridiculous, but who knows. So, all right, I'll catch you guys later and yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Have fun. Hope everything's going well and all of you are healthy.